Moving on to cover a few ligaments of the uh, lower limb, we're going to start by covering the ligaments of the foot. Um, so um, this looks like a very complex dissection, uh, but I'd like to take this back to the basic principles. Try to identify first some bones, and following that some joints, and then you're going to name the ligaments based to where they're attached to. So in terms of bones, we're going to start by, here you have one is the fibula, and two is the tibia, all right? And then you have the talus is right there. So this is the talus. And then this is the calcaneus, which is number 10. So that's the calcaneus. And again, you have the navicular bone is right there. So this is the navicular bone. And then you have the um, uh, cuboid and the cuneiform. So obviously you have on the lateral side, the, cu the cuboid and the cuneiform is with medial and, and, and intermediate and lateral view on this side. So this is the cuboid. So the cuboid is this one. Right, this is the cuboid, and then obviously you have after that the metatarsals. So now we divided it into the tarsal bones and the metatarsal bones. So metatarsal is obviously number 17, all of these are metatarsals, and then you have the um, uh, cuboid, uh, which is this one, and the cuneiform and the vicular bone, and also the talus and the calcaneum and the tibia and foot. If you want to make some joints, uh, so we're going to start by the ankle joint, which is the biggest one, which is obviously between the head of talus. The trochlea of talus and obviously the uh, um, um, tibia and fibula as well. So, so you have on number uh, three is the ankle joint. So that's the ankle joint, and um, obviously between tibia and fibula and talus as well. And you will have the medial malleolus on this side. So that's the medial mal, and the lateral mal on, on this side as well. So this is the lateral mal. Okay, so so that's the first joint that we, we, we probably need to talk about. The second one is the subtalar joint, so it's obviously from its name. It's between the talus and the calcaneus, so it will be right there. So this is sort of the uh, subtalar joint, which is number nine here. So this is the subtalar uh, joint. All right, what else? You have a, a joint between uh, the, the calcaneum and the cupoid, which is this one. So this is, this is called calcaneum cupoid uh, joint which is number 14 so it's calcaneo cupoid um, uh, joint all right and the, there is another one between the calcaneum and the cupoid and the navicular bone all right uh, um, which is called a uh, talu uh, calcaneo navicular bone sorry the talus and the the calcaneus and the navicular bone so it's called talu calcaneo Navicular joint. Okay, uh, this is the next one, and obviously the talocalcaneo navicular joint. We mentioned it before. Plus the the calcaneo cupoid joint is called the metatarsal joint. So obviously all of this is the metatarsal joint. So now we covered the bones and we covered the um, the joints between this these bones, and finally we need to identify a few ligaments. So basically what you need to identify is to find where the ligament is coming from. And where is it going to? Okay, so let's let's start by this ligament. So you have a ligament between. Uh, we mentioned this is the tibia and this is the fibula. So a ligament between the tibia and fibula in here, and it's anterior. So uh, this is called anterior uh, tibio uh, fibular ligament. All right, just as basic as that. So you have another ligament in here, which is number seven, which is going from the calcaneum to uh, uh, the fibula. So this is called um, uh, calcaneo fibular ligament, all right? So calcaneo fibular uh, ligament. And also um, there is another ligament in eight, which is coming to the talus and it's from uh, the, uh, uh, through the calcaneum. So it's called uh, talocalcaneal ligament, which is number eight. And number five, there is another one, which is between the talus and between the fibula. Uh, so talofibular ligament. And these are the important ones. The, the, the anterior tibiofibular and talofibular are to be one of the important ones. But you can also add the calcaneofibular uh, ligament as well. Okay, so um, what else? Y you have here uh, another ligament which is down there, uh, which is on the plantar surface of the foot, and it's a quite long, so we call it the long uh, plantar uh, uh, ligament, the long plantar ligament as well. Okay, great. And um, maybe we can add to that the 
bifurcate ligament, which looks like that, as you can see in here. So it's bifurcated, so it's called bifurcate ligament, number 12. And um, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this diagram. Maybe here you can add the tarsal metatarsal ligament, and the uh, number 15 is the base of fifth metatarsal for uh, peroneus uh, previs and uh, per uh, peroneus uh, tertius as well, uh, in session. Um, yeah, so we covered 18 and the rest as well is covered in this diagram. A quite similar dissection from the medial side of the foot and including the ankle joint and the distal part of the leg as well. Um, so again, take you to the basic principles and try to identify the bones first and then the joints and uh, then the ligaments after that. So obviously uh, you have here one in the fibula and two in the tibia and you have 33 at the medial um, malleolus or the medial mal and um, um, moving forward you have the most important ligament here, which is the deltoid ligament, which is number 34, which is the deep part of the deltoid uh, ligament, okay? And um, you have on 23, which is another, so obviously this is the deltoid ligament, but again, this is the superficial part of the deltoid ligament, number 23, but we call it, so where is it going, and where is it coming from, and where is it going to? So it's going from the tibia and going to the calcaneus, so it's the tibu calcaneal, tibu calcaneal, uh, ligament as well and um, looking at maybe 32 this is the calcaneus obviously and um, here on 13 you have the long uh, plantar uh, ligament um, and also um, uh, the um, you have the, the, the first metatarsal which is 27 um, yeah and that's pretty much it but 30 is another ligament going to, oh so actually 30 is not a ligament it's a bone uh, at the end of the talus, which is called the sustentaculum uh, teline, the sustentaculum teline. So yeah, if you take it to the basic principles, bones and then joints and then ligaments, like what it for the last uh, one, you will be able, able to name the ligaments that we that you would like. Okay, so we're asking about the attachments of the deltoid ligament and how to identify the deltoid ligament in this one. So I think we explained it before, but very quickly we're going to go through it. So we have, again, go through the bones and then the joints and then the ligament after that. You have 15 at the tibia and uh, 7 at uh, the sustentaculum uh, tili and then uh, 26 is the, the trochlea or, or the tubercle of the navicular uh, bone. And um, this is a groove on the talus for some muscles. That's a groove on the talus for some muscles. And um, after that, you will have some ligaments. So, so here, number six is the deltoid ligament. And obviously, you have a mark just below it. So this is the deltoid ligament. And um, uh, 18 is something called a spring ligament, spring ligament. And 17 is the short uh, plantar ligament. And 14 is the long uh, plantar ligament. So when you're being asked about the attachment of the deltoid ligament, so it usually comes from the medium malleolus superiorly, and then go all the way down to sustentaculum tili, as you can see, and it will go to the body of the talus, and it will go to the neck of the talus as well, as you see here, and um, a navicular bone, and the, as we mentioned, the sustentaculum tili, and also attached to the spring ligament. So, so again, to specify the attachment of the deltoid ligament in here, so it comes from the medium malleolus, and go all the way down, this is the body of talus, and then all the way down to sustentaculum tili, and then all the way down to the spring ligament, and then to the, the navicular bone, and then to the um, head of the talus as well. So this is the deltoid ligament all the way through, okay? Um, these are the attachments of the deltoid ligament. So you mentioned this groove, which is for flexor halus uh, longus on the talus, so right? Um, yeah, uh, long plantar and short plantar as well. Great, so these are the ligaments on this um, uh, dissection. That's from the other side, so we're looking from the lateral um, side on the uh, foot. So we're trying to identify a few things in here. So obviously 13, take it to the basic principles always. So 13 would be the lateral uh, malleolus. And um, you do have a ligament between the um, calcaneum and the lateral malleolus or the fibula. So this is a calcaneum uh, fibular ligament, number three. So that's a calcaneum fibular ligament. 
So with the ba very basic principle, this is a calcaneus, so calcaneu, and that's a fibula, calcaneu fibular uh, ligament, and uh, one is between the talus and the fibula, so it's called the anterior talofibular uh, ligament, and um, maybe we can say 14 uh, is again the long plantar uh, ligament, uh, that's 14, long plantar uh, ligament. Um, 16, so if you look here, uh, this is the talus all the way through, so that is the neck of the talus, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this one, and obviously here you can, this one, you can call it calcaneocuboid uh, ligament uh, on number two, and this is the um, fossa, which is called the Taylor um, fossa, all right? Great. Um, or tarsal sinus, sorry, that's a sinus, not a fistula. Uh, it's called the tarsal sinus, all right? So that is looking from the posterior uh, surface. Um, and here we're trying to find, uh, again, a few ligaments as well. So we'll see number 23, the calcaneus, and uh, 11, you're looking for the tibia. And 9 is the groove just uh, behind the median malleolus. And um, uh, uh, 8 is a groove behind the lateral malleolus or the fibula. So you have number 3 is a ligament between the calcaneus and the fibula. So that's a calcaneo fibular uh, ligament. And you have a few more ligaments like 19 and 24 and 12 and 20. All right. So, so let's start by 19. You're in the posterior surface. So it's a posterior and it's between the talus, which is number 10. Uh, this is the talus, all right? Uh, I mean, just let me write for you the, the all these structures. So you have here, this is the talus, and this is the calcaneus, and this is the uh, tibia, and that's a groove for the tibia, but we know that this is the tibia, and this is the fibula, and that's a groove on the fibula, all right? So these are the basic principles. So three, it's a ligament between the calcaneus and the fibula, so it's calcaneofibular ligament, and you have 19, it's a posterior between the talus and the fibula, so posterior talofibular uh, uh, ligament. So this is a posterior talofibular uh, ligament. That's a 19. Maybe um, 20 is the um, another ligament uh, between the tibia and the fibula, which is called the posterior uh, tibiofibular ligament. The posterior tibiofibular ligament. And 12 is a sort of inferior tibiofibular uh, ligament. Um, uh, that's number 12, right? Inferior transverse ligament uh, is number 12. Okay. So what are the ligaments supporting the hip joint? So the hip joint is basically uh, formed um, in the acetabulum. And the acetabulum is mainly formed by three uh, bones joined together. So that's the ileum, all right? And that's the uh, ischium or ischium, all right? And also the pubis, all right? So you have three ligaments, one attached to each of these bones. So you'll have the iliofemoral ligament and the ischiofemoral ligament and the pupofemoral uh, ligament as well. So these are the ligaments related to the um, hip joint.